I have a presentation at nine and I'm really like terrified about that because it's been a while since I did a presentation and this is like 30% of my final mark so it's really important. I'm also really stressed about the fact that I made most of the presentation and I've never met my partner and I don't even know her in real life but we're supposed to work together right now like I'm present in at nine. Talking about healthy markets. So when you hear the words healthy markets, two things come to mind.
今日は殿下呼びは禁止というかいい加減名前で呼んでほしいんだけどな Hello guys, so I just did my makeup. I woke up a while back and today is my forensic medicine exam. It's like in a couple of hours. I just got ready. I did my makeup to feel better and I tried the new glitter I got and it's so cute. And yeah, I am going to leave the house in like half an hour. And wish me luck for today's exam. Forensic medicine was much harder than I thought it would be, but I'm so glad it's gonna be done like today. Uh, it was a very interesting subject, but it was really, really hard. Good job. friends i hope that you are well i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i am ending this i wanted to end this vlog uh, but i wanted to tell you guys what currently i'm watching like what enemies i'm currently watching and mostly bl dramas to be honest because uh when i'm stressed i just watch bl and i've been very stressed so i've been watching like a lot of bl currently we actually have let's start with the anime and currently we actually have like a lot of shoujo anime like this is the most amount of shoujo anime we've had in one season since a while to be honest so i'm currently watching first of all uh, kukyo no karaso or like the raven con concubine or something like that um most of these enemies are like halfway through or even the drama so it would be perfect now for you to catch up to them like binge the beginning and then catch up and continue weekly like i'm doing so first of all as i said kukyo no karaso or raven concert and this one is based on a light novel and i heard that the light novel is actually 
really famous so this one talks about uh it's actually based on chinese court and so you have this new emperor who has just taken reign he has just ascended the throne and he discovered that one of the concubines is called a knight concubine and she does not perform knight duties to the old emperor but she she did something special you know slowly you start to figure out that she's actually a witch and she would do some things you know to help the emperor and our new emperor is trying to understand like who she is and what she does and together they start solving these mysteries that are happening in the uh, in the palace all in all i am enjoying it i will complete it but it um it's not that it is uh boring it's just the pacing is a little bit off and the art is supposed to give you know royalty and uh, opulence and it's not giving what it's supposed to be giving unfortunately uh next is moshika burihime and this one is also i believe based on a light novel and this one is like the opposite this is also historical but it's more of victorian court we have our main character who's a prince and he knows this girl who is like uh, the daughter of uh, a minister or something but all her family is known are is known as the bibliophile family because they're all obsessed with books including her she's not actually called a bookworm she is called a bibliophile princess and she only cares about one thing books for some reason our prince who is deeply in love with her but she just doesn't see him he proposes that they enter a fake uh engagement and the story takes off from there will she be able to see in front of her what's in front of her you know like other than books frankly this one is boring like it's really boring i'm not enjoying it i will complete it just because i started and it's not that big of a deal like it's well the episode but i don't recommend it uh, the art is awkward i the main character is so annoying like she's not annoying it's more like there's nothing she's nothing like i do need more of her sometimes you know uh sometimes she surprises you and she says like the most wise things because you know she's a, a book warm but most of the time she's just she does nothing and that's boring to me uh next there is akuyaku reiju nando last boss wa katama shita or i know i butchered that but it is i'm taming the final boss this was my favorite this one is currently my favorite shoujo anime it is so freaking good this one is actually the most that's it's like nine episodes has been released it's it's incredible if you want to watch any shoujo of this season i recommend watching that one this is all this is based on a manga that's an isekai manga you know our main character had cancer and she dies in the beginning of the anime like in the first episode for her to wake up as the villainess of the otome game she was playing while she was in the hospital getting treatment and she knows like what's going to happen she knows she's gonna end up dead because she's the villainess so she comes up with these plans really quickly to fix her situation until she so she so she can save save herself because she decided that she will not die in this life as well it is great the main character is so funny she is so smart and so uh she's just very energetic and she will fix the situation because she is so 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 smart and i love all the other characters the uh the art can be like awkward at times but it's it's great i highly recommend it next we'll just go into shonen of course of course chainsaw man i am watching it i finished the manga as i told you in my last vlog and i'm really really enjoying the anime like it's spectacular i'm watching it with my sister uh like the work mappa put into the anime like it, only the endings you know like i have so much work and so much details i'm getting messages and my whatsapp is open there's so much details uh into the uh anime and into the manga and it's highly recommend it of course i recommend it it's incredible the other anime which i highly recommend as well and i believe that is being overshadowed by the amazing releases this season is blue lock i've heard incredible things about the blue lock manga it's actually went viral several times i haven't read the manga yet but i am incredibly enjoying like i'm really really enjoying the anime and i also recommend it especially if you enjoy sports anime my first sports anime is football anime and the world cup started yesterday so this is perfect timing to actually watch blue lock and understand like how important football is to some people you know and then i'm watching like two animes that are how do i say ah spy x family of course i'm watching spy x family the second season is just as great it's just anya is just as adorable and i'm really really enjoying it there's nothing much to say about it because it's still at that incredible level you know 
and I don't want to make this really long. Uh, next, I'm watching Urese Yatsura. Uh, this is actually a very old, uh, like there was already like a completed manga and um, an anime like in the 80s, I want to say. The manga was released, I believe, in the 80s and the anime was in the 90s and it was all the rage back then. Uh, but this new anime that we're getting is so good uh if you are feel nostalgic about the old enemies or the 80s or the 90s i highly recommend watching it because it's even though like it's modernized a little bit it's still all the elements of the nostalgia we feel while watching the 80s and 90s enemies exist in it in this new version and the modernization only made it like i don't know you you know the neon lights of the 80s like that, but it still has that very old feeling and I'm, I had, I'm highly enjoying it um, and I'm watching a cool doji danshi which is uh, guys let's be cool uh, it's not really is it considered an enemy uh, it's like a 10 minutes the episodes the episodes are only 10 minutes and I watch them in the morning when I'm in a rush uh, while getting ready or something uh, it's really fun it's about like I talked about the manga as well in my previous vlog it's about like these five uh four really cool looking dudes but they're all very clumsy and it's adorable what i like the most about it is the aesthetics of it like the colors and all that uh next for the bl what i'm currently watching i'm watching i long night i long night this is a thai bl and this is completely absurd like this um for this one literally there is no specific story you just have to these two people who meet and they decide to start dating for one month just test it out you know uh in college and uh this is my comfort show at the moment because when i don't want a single thought behind those eyes i just watch that uh, drama i like it like the script is bad like the acting is worse but the chemistry between the two main characters is adorable and that, that's why i'm watching it uh, next, I'm watching Big Dragon. Um, this one, uh, I don't know why I started it, to be honest, because uh, I don't know. I just started it. I found it on YouTube and I started it and I liked it because uh, this one, like, it surprised me so much uh, because the acting was much better than I thought. The story was much better. The chemistry between the main character is top notch uh, because the main characters were friends and they're literally living together in real life, and so their chemistry was like incredible. And it's also it's like it's hate to love between these two people who go to the same university, but they're like on completely like one of them is very hard working and the other one is just a rich brat. Uh, and because of some accidents, they enter into this weird relationship and. He, yeah um i don't want to say more <laughs> but it's, it's good it's, these two are you just watch them if you don't want to think another one that is to watch if you don't want to think at all is catch me baby this is a thai drama and uh the story revolves are like around these four people who are trying uh to work against each other in because the main character uh our straight couples like work against each other one of them tries to hide the cheating relationships of men and the female character main character tries to uh tell the wives about their cheating husbands the story is ridiculous that script was written by a five-year-old like uh it's so dumb but the chemistry between all these four people is really good so that's why i'm watching it and i will complete it because i love net james uh but i also really love the main characters as well i feel like my taste is on is like below the bar is in hell at the moment but also i do not want to think while watching anything uh and the last drama that i'm currently watching is kabesa dojin sakana nako yashi neko yashi kikun and this is a, a Japanese VL and this is the per it's so freaking good it's so freaking good like this is currently like the best BL in my opinion from the ones I'm watching uh, it's so good guys like this talks about a BL mangaka uh, this one's based on a manga and it talks about this BL mangaka who has extreme inferiority complex and he is obsessed with his position 
on uh, on the wall uh, on Dogen uh, like festivals and yeah he's obsessed like with creating this incredible like BL that everyone's gonna love and something like that like he just wants to be appreciated for the work that he does and uh, one time uh, while he is in his Dogen festival trying to sell his new Dogen um, he meets a uh, his childhood high school friend who's now a very popular idol but also the last time they saw each other he confessed that he was in love with him but he told him that they will ne are never going to meet again and so they're separate ways and now they meet again and it's just it's so good it's so good it's so deep the acting is incredible the editing of the drama is really really great because all of a sudden they add elements from the manga as well highly recommend it like if you're gonna watch anything watch this one uh so yeah these are the things that i'm watching right now please tell me down below what are you watching and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye